Firepower Threat Defense. This is the latest version 622. Um, I'm going to set up DHCP server. I haven't done a video on this yet. So um, this is going to be a quick one. Um, so very quickly, we'll just check the inside host here to make sure that it currently does not have an IP address. As we can see, the, the famous 169 address. Um, okay, so let's get it set up here. So we're in device management. We're at the device that uh, that, that in interface is assigned to um, for the inside network. Uh, so I'll put in a domain name, cisco.local in my case. Uh, we'll do some primary DNS servers. Here I'm just gonna add uh, Cisco umbrella or formerly open DNS is the DNS servers. Um, you know, in most cases you're probably gonna have an inside uh, D uh, DNS server that you're gonna leverage. Uh, which may hopefully forward to something like Cisco Umbrella. So we'll just give the IP addresses here. So we'll do the primary and then we'll also do the secondary. We'll copy this off here, save some typing. And we'll add the secondary. Perfect, save that out. You know, if we had a win server, we could add that uh, here as well. Uh, now we'll add the server. So the interface it's gonna be uh, uh, servicing clients on will be the inside interface. Uh, and here we'll give it the address pool um, that we want to assign. Here I'm just doing a small pool of addresses because it's a lab uh, system, obviously. And then you enable it. Advance here, we can come in and do a bunch of option codes here. Um, if you have phones, you might have to uh, add a couple of options. Um, for example, to give the uh, TFTP server to the phones, etc. Um, so you can certainly do that. In my case, I don't need to do it. Um, here, we'll quickly deploy uh, to the device and then ultimately check to ensure that uh, we actually get the IP address. Again, fairly simple configuration. Um, but I thought I'd put it up there just to, uh, to help folks uh, that may never have uh, ever used a next-gen firewall platform nor or maybe never have uh, configured DHCP. Okay, now we'll go to the host. This will deploy. And we'll just quickly do a IP config uh, slash renew. And if everything's working properly, we should get an IP address. And we did, so we can see that here. So that's perfect. Let's just do all to make sure we have the DNS servers as well. So we've got the IP address. We can see uh, gateway and then the DNS servers. Just quickly check to make sure that we can get out. And there we go. That's it, very simple, easy configuration, setting up DHCP server on Firepower Threat Defense.